Hey guys, it's your old pal Penguin here. What's going on? Uh, today was going to be a good day, uh, and then I heard bad news, unfortunately. Uh, Rick May uh, unfortunately passed away because of medical problems, one of them being COVID-19, or otherwise known as the coronavirus. Um, some of you might not know this, but he was voice actors for many different games. One of the ones that is really important to me, as well as to probably thousands of other people, possibly millions of other people, uh, was the game Team Fortress 2. Team Fortress 2 came out in 2007 for the Orange Box. It's um, a multiplayer game where you get to play several different classes, one of them being the Heavy, or sorry, well, yeah, the Heavy. Um, but Rick May, he did the he was the voice actor for the character class Soldier. Soldier in the game was a um, United States soldier who fired. Pretty sure the standard was a rocket launcher, either that or a bazooka of some sorts. Um, he's a, he actually has some pretty funny lines, and I really enjoy playing with him. Uh, funny enough, last night I actually, for the first time in a while, like almost a six months, played Team Fortress 2. I'm like, ah, why not? Uh, so it was kind of a calling sign, I guess, that Easter would be, it, uh, I would play like the game the day before he passed. But yeah, I'm fortunate that it is quite sad. Uh, Yesterday was his last Easter, and if you're watching this video and you don't celebrate Easter, um, yeah, it's, it's a thing for some people. Um, but yeah, it, it, it truly is a sad to see them go. I mean, he was born, and I don't remember what month, and thinking of a June, uh, but the year 1940, and unfortunately he has died today. April 13th, 2020. For some people, I've seen some things about it. Say it's April 14th. I don't necessarily know. I don't... Depending on where he was currently living, which I'm pretty sure was Seattle, since... I think he was like a Seattle something mentor there. But I know he did live in Seattle. Uh, which means, it, from my understanding, it would be... April 13th. But that's besides the point. And this is going to turn off the whole. Sorry. Um, yeah, it, it's really sad. I do enjoy playing the game. He was actually my main... The soldier was my main character for a while. So, I know some of his things, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to say them, though, because of copyright reasons. Sorry. I know they're just words, but... Just don't spoil it for anything. Um, but yeah, he made a pretty big impression on a lot of us. And to see him go because of a foreign virus, well, I mean, he already had several different medical problems, but um, from what I read on a couple of websites, the main reason was COVID-19 or the coronavirus. To see like a foreign virus just come in and, you know, Take him out like that, I guess to say that in the sweetest way possible, since it, I was upset for about 20 minutes. I'm not upset like sad, like I'm sad right now. You know, I, I've, I, I've been playing Team Fortress 2 for about a, two years, or almost three years. And like I said, he was, he was my main for a little bit, so I actually really enjoyed playing him. Sad. And I, I'm for everyone that you know is deeply affected by this, like his family. I sincerely apologize for your loss. I wish it didn't have to be like this way. Today, pretty 
which are over a million people or so. I don't like to make these videos because every time I do I, I feel bad I've made three of them two of them now were for someone who I you know deeply cared about passing one of them was from an old age and medical problems and the other one was from medical problems, a foreign virus that is killing millions of us. Maybe not millions yet. If we count the total death toll, maybe millions. I hope you all have a wonderful day and stay safe. Please stay safe.